Okay, so for those of you all that are participating at home um, or doing the, the class at home, um, you'll need to get with me so you can come pick up one of these kits. Since you're not here in class to do the flame wheel, um, you will be assembling this very small um, kit. Uh, and since you probably don't have the tools that we have here, um, this has everything that you'll need in it to get going. Um, so as soon as you can, uh, email me so you can make arrangements to come pick up your kit and uh, all the ways to contact me on Schoology. Um, so get that done so we can get going. Um, I'll kind of walk you through it um, to help you out a little bit. Um, let's see, swap this over. When you open the box, you'll have uh, some propeller guards in there. Um, you'll also have an extra an extra battery in a bag up top, and I'll show you some more about that here in a second. And you'll have more stuff in there. I've already pulled out the, the remote controller, um, so I can show you that real quick. Um, the basic remote controller. I'll go more over the details of its functions in a different video. Um, pull everything out of here. That plastic cover off. Pull this whole thing out. Um, there is a screwdriver included. Um, you can use that screwdriver to take that screw out. And then you can put the three batteries that are included in here. You don't have to pull that to open it. But you got to remove the screw, the screw to take it out. Um, then from there, there's this little deal here on the back. Push it up, and that'll pop out. And then there's this looking thing in there, and it'll slide down into that spot. Slide down, it clicks, and you push that little tab in right there, and it locks it in. And that is the phone holder uh, for your controller. So we'll go more over that. So we've got the controller assembled. We can set that aside. We'll start going into the draw. So our first step is we're going to take our frame, this little black piece right here. You'll notice on one side there's a lightning bolt, and that's the power port. So I'm going to leave that on my right side just for me. Um, in this kit here, we've got the green um, controller, flight controller on the PCB. Take it out. And so on one side, it's got red and white plugs. On the other side, it's got this white plug here. This is going to be your power port. And then if you look here, you've got holes. That's where your red and white plugs are going to go through those holes. Um, and then this black uh, piece is going to go through that hole. So where the lightning bolt is, that tells us that's our power side. So we are going to push these, set this on here. You don't have to push hard. It's got little pieces that will come through right there to stabilize it, hold it on. But we want to push it on there and get it flush so everything will fit right. So it'll look about like that. Um, then we'll take our top cover piece. Um, see, it's got the big cutout over here and it's got a little little notch right there. That little The little notch goes over this light bulb right here. The big notch goes over our power port. So we'll push that down over on top of it. And it'll just kind of click in 
You might have to guide the sides in some. But in essence, there it goes. I think it is mostly snapped in now. All right, so we've got that part. Okay, and while um, you're putting this together, um, there is a little USB device that comes inside of your of your kit. You'll be in that spot. Um, so you just take that cover off. You can plug this into a USB port then, and then you plug your battery in to this to this side like that, and then you charge your batteries with USB. There's two batteries. It won't take them very long to charge at all. Um, that one's already charged, so I'm going to plug this one in and uh, let it charge while I'm finishing this. So I've got it plugged in over there. Um, now we will get our motors out. Um, and so you'll notice that there are two motors with red plugs and two motors with white plugs. You'll also notice down here, you've got two reds and two whites. So we'll want our red plug to go to the red plug, white plug to go to the white plug. So we'll take these apart now, find a red plug right there, and we will feed that plug through right there. I'm just gonna set, set that in for now. I'm not pushing it down yet. I'm just kind of getting it lined up, ready to go. Next one will be white right there. Same thing, got it through the hole. Put the wires in that notch right there. You can, you can see it, that notch right there. And then I'm just barely getting the motor in there just to hold it in place for now. Then again, red right there. So I'm gonna push the red through. My last one is white, so I'll push that white plug through and then stick the motor in again just to hold it essentially. Okay, so I'm gonna double check, make sure everything's lined up. I'm gonna push those motors all the way down. So that they are in. Okay, so now I've got the motors pushed in all the way down for the most part. And get the propeller guards out. There's some smaller instructions on the propeller itself, motor in the drone base, set up the guard, then set up the propeller. Um, so the guard just slides in, slides in over it, and then it'll snap down around the wire and into that little hole there. So just push it in, it clicks. Oops. Should click. Might help if you can squeeze down towards the bottom there. There. That one went in there a little bit better. Yeah, 
so it really helps if you can if you can squeeze that in together while you're pushing it on there helps to seat it in the in the hole that it's going into So the prop guards are on. Um, I'm going to do the props a little bit later. Uh, but now we want to connect the uh, motor power wire to the PCB. Um, so you'll notice there's these little hooks here to kind of keep your wires nice and tight, uh, nice and organized. So I want to get that fish that through there and then plug this in. It'll only plug in one way. If you wanted to, you could wrap that around another time. And it'll click once it's in there all the way. One more. This one being a little bit of a booger. Okay, so now I've got the four motors hooked in. Good to go right there. Okay, and if we flip this over and we look inside here, I don't know if it'll focus or not. But right, right there is the letter B. And that's a, a white plug on this one up here. You got the letter A, that's a red plug. So get our propellers and on the top of this propeller right here, you can you can tell that there's a letter there, but I can't get the I can't get it to focus on it. Maybe if 
Maybe that will help. Oh, I'm not going to get it to. But that says B4. So we want to match our B propellers um, with our B arms, which are going to be the arms with white plugs. So we'll just push that over with the B on top and push it on there. You might have to push kind of kind of hard to get it on there, or at least initially. That'll spin pretty freely. So we'll have B, B, B's across from each other, A's across from each other. This is another B. So I'm going to put it on, on that one. This little tool in here to help you pull them off if you need to. You stick it in there and pry it up. Up here, another B. It's an A, so I'll put it on an A arm. And I need one more A. There's my other A. So now I've got the propellers on. Now I'm ready for the last piece, which is right here, uh, which is the camera. Okay, so it's, we've got this little three plug here. And it's gonna go in right there on the top and it, it'll only go in one way based on how the, the side is. You can see there's a notch and there's a kind of a raised spot. So the raised spot goes in the notch. I just push that in there. And then as you're looking down here, you'll notice that there's wider a wider gap between those two than those two. And there's a wider gap back here and there. So your camera will go on the same side as the light bulb down there. So we'll push the wire back up into there and push it down. Push those legs those legs down into the holes. And it might help if you have tweezers or something to help you line that up. Or you can use the screwdriver to help push them, push them over to where they, they need to be. if I don't drop it. And there. Just took some clicking to do, but now, now the camera's on there. Then when you're ready to go, you can push this battery into the little cradle down there, like so, and then bring the plug up and plug it in. So now it's got power, the lights are telling me stuff. I can take this little film off of the camera. And uh, 
and that's where we'll end it for now and we'll go into the uh, controller and stuff uh, later um, so submit a a picture of, of this or a, a small video of you during the build um, so you can get credit for the assignment um, it'll be submitted under the flame wheel build if you have any questions comments concerns reach out to me let me know uh, see ya